Of course, a gold rush set up Victoria, uh, set up a lot of its infrastructure, but after the gold rush, uh, David Syme from Fairfax, he pushed for um, protectionism to build Australia's manufacturing because he knew that when the gold went, the migrants would go again and he tried to keep them, so he didn't manufacture. And then in the 1880s, the British started, financiers started pouring credit into Melbourne. And then there was a massive boom. There was a massive boom uh, in real estate and there was a massive boom in public transport. You know, all the tramways and the railways all built in the 1880s. All the infrastructure, you know, like you're sitting in Richmond, it's all 1880s and a lot of it came from that boom. And then that went bust in 1889, 90, uh, 1890, 91, around there. There was the Great Economic, economic Depression in Melbourne where they lost ground to Sydney and uh, in many ways have not recovered that ground. But then in the 90s, of course, a gold rush happened in WA and footy in, in Victoria in the 1890s was in a bit of trouble. It was very negative, you know, it was very defensive and it wasn't very attractive. It had been a very attractive open game in the 80s, 1880s, but in the 90s it wasn't. And then the money from the Kalgoorlie gold fields, uh, what would happen is players started to drift over there. They play in the gold fields competition around Kalgoorlie and stuff like that, or Kulgardi uh, was another area. And then a lot of that gold money went into uh, some of that gold money, I, I imagine, went into the Perth and Fremantle football clubs. And then that really, like, from about 1892, there was a drift of Victorian players, some fantastic Victorian players. They start to go to WA. Thurgood from Essendon is the probably the biggest name that went there, but there were many other really fine players. There was a guy for Footscray called Jack Coward, who was a really fantastic player. He went. A lot of them went for the money. And um, so that really, you know, kind of undermined the Victorian, the quality of the Victorian competition in many ways.